So, so right now, Winnie Blues will be my long shot pick. I, I, by the way, I agree with you. So real quickly, I know people want this. I'm going to do a trifecta. It's $24, though. 4, 6, 10 with 2, 4, 6, 9, 10 with 2, 4, 9. With 2, 4, 9. Well, Caleb's got a special guest, and it might be the owner of KVN Corona, Keith Nelson. Caleb? Hey, Scotty. Keith, a very busy man here as we get set for this important race, the Super Derby. And Keith, uh, let's go back to the beginning with this Colt. Uh, won his first race easily. At what point did you think maybe this is the best horse you've ever owned? Um, we knew quite a bit when they were breaking him that he was going to be really good. But, you know, he's just never done anything wrong, um, really. And, I mean, when he won the Ed Burke, of course, we knew he was pretty special. But, you know, he's without a doubt the best horse we've ever owned possibly the best one we ever will, right? I mean, he's uh, he just does everything really, really well, and um, I don't know. You mentioned his lack of mistakes. As a handicapper, we've, we've got little things we can pull coals at. Maybe we're off slow. Maybe we're lugging in. Maybe we're veering out. He doesn't really have any of those. Yeah, it occasionally does, but he just he just seems to know where the finish line is and how to get his nose across there. And he's just, he's just a really professional horse. He always has been from day one. You know, there was never a thought of gelding him ever. I mean, he's just a, a really, really professional horse, and we're really excited what he did in the trials and got our fingers crossed tonight. You guys are putting an undefeated lineup here at Los Al on the line, nine for nine. Let's go back to the race at Rio Doso. We qualified uh, there for the Rio Doso Derby. What do you think it was about uh, the mountain air that he didn't take to? You know, I think it was not only maybe the air, but we changed so much of his environment. I think that had more to do it than we want to think. Uh, they kind of changed his diet a little bit and a few different things. And, uh, you know, I think it was getting back here, getting in that barn, getting around all the people. I believe that breeds confidence into them. And, and I think that made a huge difference. Uh, he's a different horse here. We've let the viewers know the meaning and the story behind KB and Corona. And I know our man Kyle Van Noy led the team in tackle. So tell us how this Utah bred found the name KB and Corona. You know, we have to come up with a lot of names every year. We're naming 30 to 50 uh, a year and uh, you know Kyle's just a really important part of our family he's family to us and it was one of those things when we name him you know there's a long ways before we even get to the yearling cell or whatever and just kind of made this a little bit more special that we named him after someone that's really important to us we were able to keep him and then it, that he's done so well and kind of simultaneously with Kyle's success uh, with the with the New England Patriots, so it's been it's been a dream come true. I I'd like to name I, I named his full sister KVN's little sister. That's her name. So hopefully you guys will see her next year here. All right, Keith, as the gate's getting set to go into place, I want to give you a quick chance to talk about the connections here. Of course, Paul Jones and Ramon Sanchez. You basically got a dream team at Los Out to try to bring this cult home. That's right. There's no one I would rather have him with. Um, Ramon and Paul have done an amazing job with him. Uh, every race Ramon's been on him, I. I feel, you know, great confidence that no matter what happens, he never panics, and he's ready to uh, to do everything to help this Colt win. Keith, an amazing Colt, and let's hope for a clean start for all. Yes, that'd be great. Thank you, Caleb. Great interview there. There's a look at the three-year-old champion, KVN Corona, who Keith said we might see KVN's little full sister next year. Jose. That could be interesting, yeah. Of course, this horse named after the uh, BYU in New England, uh, Kyle Van Noy, KVN. And there is a look at the four horse at 8-1, to one, who is my long shot play in this race there. Call Me Cole for Reliance Ranches and Mike Robbins. Got a second place finish by three quarters of a length in the trial. Losing to KVN Corona, but broke slow. That was off a layoff. That was just a tightener, Jose. I, I yeah. mean, this horse is talented. And, of course, KVN had a perfect trip, breaking first. So... I mean, right now you're getting nine to one on this three-year-old. If you can build a case for anyone but the six or ten right now, you gotta support them because it's rare that you get this kind of quality runners at these kind of prices, right? So these are these are the kind of races as handicappers. If you really like a horse, not only are they in this great one because they earn their way, but obviously if you're gonna get a juicy price, tonight's the night to bet them. Tonight is definitely the night to bet them. We talked about Mooney Blues at 11 to 1. That's great, tremendous value. That's where I'm leaning towards my money now because when am I going to get Mooney Blues at 11 to 1 again? I mean, we haven't gotten that since back in December of 2017 when she finished second behind Jay Farrer up in 2 million. She has really matured as a three year old. That gauge speed is still there, and now she's shown she can finish as well. That's a dangerous, dangerous combo here from Post 9. How about the